Hello, I'm Zach Yuson, and this is your 6pm wrap. Davao City Mayor Rudy Duterte and Senator Grace Poe are statistically tied for the top spot in the latest Lilo presidential survey. Support for Duterte rises from 24% to 30%, while Poe improved to 27% from 26%. Vice President Jeju Marbinai suffers the biggest drop from 23% to 18%. This allows Liberal Party standard bearer Mar Rojas to clinch third place, despite dropping from 22% to 21%. Senator Miriam Santiago remains at 2%. The poll was conducted a week after the second presidential debate in Cebu City on March 20. During the fourth day of the Philippine Senate probe on the Bangladesh bank heist, senators find contradicting statements from money transfer firm Philrem Service Corporation. Senator T.G. Gingona points out that during the first hearing, Phil Rem President Salud Bautista said the company delivered only 600 million pesos to Wen Kang Shu. Phil Rem said another $18 million was delivered to Shu as of the second probe, while, quote, everything went to Wei Kang Shu as of the third. Bautista clarifies 600 million pesos and $18 million were delivered in six tranches. Senator Bam Aquino says, quote, the oath is to tell the truth, not just the partial truth. Casino junket agent Kim Wong says $17 million is still with Phil Rem a claim Bautista denies. Still on the Bangladesh bank heist, the Anti-Money Laundering Council plans to file a civil forfeiture case next week to seize assets from casinos and junket operators allegedly linked to the heist. In a civil forfeiture case, the Philippine government seizes assets of those allegedly using dirty money. The owner of the assets can contest the case and must prove that the assets came from clean money. The Panama Papers leak triggers protest and global investigations. Spain, France, and several other countries launched tax evasion probes after the scandal erupted Sunday, April 3. The 11.5 million leaked documents from law firm Mossack Fonseca exposed as offshore deals of about 140 political figures. The paper reveals Iceland Prime Minister Sigmundur Gunnlaugsson hid million-dollar investments. Thousands of protesters demand his resignation. Among the others accused, aides of Russian President Vladimir Putin, relatives of Chinese leader Xi Jinping, and Argentine football player Lionel Messi. The documents cover data spanning nearly 40 years. Myanmar's new foreign minister, Aung San Suu Kyi, will meet her Chinese counterpart in her first act of international diplomacy since her party took power. Suu Kyi, the country's democratic figurehead, invites China's Wang Yi for talks in the capital. China is Myanmar's largest trading partner, but border wars and controversial Beijing-backed mega-projects top the agenda. Myanmar's new civilian administration faces economic challenges as it inherits rule of the country from the military. Wisconsin votes for the presidential nominating contest Tuesday, with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton seen as underdogs. Both risk losing the Badger State to Republican Ted Cruz and Democrat Bernie Sanders. The winner of Tuesday's primary will take most of the 42 delegates on offer. CNN's tally shows Trump has 739 delegates, Cruz has 466, and Ohio Governor John Kasich has 145. Sanders beat Clinton in the last five out of six contests. And that was your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates daily at 12 noon and 6 p.m. I'm Zach Yuson. Remember, tomorrow begins today.